One thing I publicly failed at is crypto. I've lost millions, bro. <laughs> put all my money in that. Blindly. I put like two, three mil. I, could, I literally saw it just go to zero. And a year ago, two years ago, oh, we heard crypto, 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 Bitcoin, Bitcoin, this, this, this. This guy's lost 2.5 million. So what he's put effort and time into is growing a YouTube channel. What he didn't put his time and effort into was passively putting the money inside crypto. What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Zapala here. Hey, it's here from Dallas, Texas. And in this reaction video, we got YouTube sensation from the UK, KSI. And uh, my team here says, uh, I need to pay attention to this guy because this guy's making a lot of moves. He's making his enemies, his friends. And from what I can tell, this whole generation, uh, which is, I think is pretty fascinating to me because there's a whole generation of entrepreneurs today that don't have to wait 20, 30, 40, 50 years to get on TV, to get in a position of power and influence. You can get on YouTube, you can get on social media. There's so much opportunity for those of you that are looking to create a brand, to cre create a business and build a business, for you to create yourself financial opportunities and wealth. So much opportunity right now on the internet. And I just can only imagine what 5G, the 5G generation, 6G generation is gonna bring to the next generation of online entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs that use online as a method to get attraction to the business. So let's take a look at what KSI here has to say on the flagrant podcast here hosted by Andrew Schultz. <laughs> is that the end goal for you? What is, is, is music career takes over everything? Um, my end goal is to see how far I can go. Yeah. Bro. yeah. What is end? Like, what is the, well, my end goal is to just, like I said, see how far I can go. So like with the boxing, like once I beat Jay Paul, Oh, what's next? Connor? McGregor? Mm. Why not? Mayweather? Why not? Why not anyone really at that point? Again, just constantly pushing the limits with yeah, YouTube. I love it. He's constantly sticking big. Constantly pushing like on my YouTube channel, my second channel, I get average three to five million views. It's crazy. Yeah. Per video. It's crazy. And it's like okay, let's break it down real quick. His first channel, he's got 24 million subs. Second channel's got 16.1 million subs. So apparently this guy's got something figured out with YouTubing and and uh, the internet and uh, online branding. He's got something figured out. And if, listen, success leaves clues. So if you are out there looking, tr try to figure out a way how to get your name out there, get your business known out there, take a look what these young guys are doing. They're obviously doing something right. Bring together not only your wisdom, but look at them and what this generation is doing with an area of emptying your cup and saying, what can I learn from these young cats? Like, oh, okay. Why not just keep going? Just seeing how far I can push is it. Is there one Side thing man, that makes- We're getting 20 plus million all the time. Is there one thing that makes you feel the most fulfilled? Because you've um, done, I read you got books and shit. Like you got everything. Oh, for me, for, fulfillment is just seeing the progress, seeing how much I've improved and seeing how I can con constantly still improve myself. And I think that's for me, it's all about the journey, man. Okay. I just love the journey. Two questions. Yes. What have you failed at? Uh, bro, everything. It seems from the outside that- Yeah, bro, but I'm from the outside, it looks like I'm the best. Okay, there it is, product placement. Okay, so do you think this is subtle, but I think this is intentional. This is a product placement all right there. This is his prime hydration energy drink. He, he partnered with Logan Paul. So in other words, you don't have to be the number one guy in Hollywood. You don't have to be the number one actor in the world. You can have a YouTube channel and just have as much success and as much sales and sponsors and advertisers would love to be around somebody like you. You don't necessarily have to be with the SAG. You don't have to be with the union. So this is, again, something that's a phenomenon to me that I think is very intriguing. If you want to get your brand known out there and it's an area there, if you want to have some financial success, an area that you have to pay more and more attention to. You but, attack something and then yeah, you succeed yeah, in it. Yeah, that, that's yeah. from the outside. But I mean, well, one thing I publicly failed at is crypto. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Really? I've, I've lost millions, Here we go. bro. <laughs> Millions, You're in good fam. company, my oh, friend. We might be together on this, I but bro, I still so have faith. I, put, I still I have put, faith. You didn't sell I like put, a bitch, did you? No, 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 no. <laughs> I put 2.5 plus million God damn. in Luna. Oh. And you... it was at $30. Oh. It was going down. Luna? I was like, I'm buying the dip, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 And then and then it went down to no point no 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never heard My of that. Two point five million. Can I say something? It's worth ten. And by the way, you know, it's uh one thing for you to do it too as well. If he's said that publicly too as well, and he's an influencer, he's a YouTube, and many other people potentially may have done the same thing too as well. There's an area there where there's you know, when you're talking about strategy and you're talking about it from a financial standpoint, people follow it. 
and you're wrong, well, you don't know how many people indirectly and or directly that you also hurt, not helped. This guy's lost 2.5 million. And uh, the cool thing about his demeanor is that apparently it wasn't his whole entire life savings. He's kind of pissed about it, but the reason why he's not so pissed about it because I don't think he put all his money into it, but the thing is, he's also controlled his cash flow. So he can always find opportunities and ways to recoup that $2.5 million. And oftentimes people think that, uh, you know, the, the greed kicks in, the greed factor kicks in, the FOMO kicks in. I'm going to miss out, I'm going to miss out. Well, there's a scripture out there in Proverbs and King Solomon, who's regarded as the richest and wisest king who ever lived, he said it like this. Wealth from get rich quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. So what he's put effort and time into is growing a YouTube channel. What he didn't put his time and effort into was passively putting the money inside crypto. And that's where a lot of people get caught up. And so then when there's a lot of value and principle behind actually earning a paycheck, earning a living, grinding it out, and making sure that if you put in time to something, you have an output, there's value to that. You've invested into that. But to say, hey man, I got a lottery ticket, or I got crypto, or I got this, 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 and you passively do it and hope that this is your end all be all, this is your big banger, it might potentially be a get rich quick sim and you get fooled right into it. I've Just taken off. an L, bro, I've taken an L with Luna like, before again. So there's this thing called um, AM, is it AMC or something? Basically, they have like a bank. It was like a bank with one. like crazy, um, crazy yield. Wherever you get, like every year, you'd get like a percentage of like 10, 15% yeah. on the money you just put in. And I was like, oh my God, this is, Here it oh, is. yes. So, so I just put all my money in that. Blindly. I put like two, three mil. Bro, it just tanked. Second you know, mil. the first Bitcoin crash, mm. all my money just, I, could, I literally saw it just go to zero. So in total, if you just add it up here, it's about $4.5 million in losses thus far that he's revealed on this podcast try again so you know i made my money back i had close to you know i was short in bitcoin because i was like yeah this is going down i know this is going down this was i was short oh, so like you did make 40K. your money back yeah i want my money back yeah so i was like oh okay cool yeah, yeah it works got my money back and then guess what <laughs> <laughs> back into luna come and on then, and then it went back down again. Again. Oh, oh, man, fuck dude. this shit bro i'm out okay so <laughs> finances <laughs> finances <laughs> tricky luna, yeah, bro. i'm taking a public l but okay. like and by the way guys listen when it comes to cryptocurrency it's one of these phenomena that uh because there's no regulation to it, there's really no entity to it. I mean, the DeFi conceptually works well, but at the same time too as well, there's somebody behind the switches too as well. So there is some central control to it. And so a lot of people put their money in Bitcoin all at the wrong time. And I always said that you can always tell that the basis of a good decision is not revealed in the best of times, but it's revealed in the worst of times. And a year ago, two years ago, oh, we heard crypto, 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 Bitcoin, Bitcoin, this, this, this. Today, how many people are talking about Bitcoin? Today, how many people talk about crypto? Not a lot of people. You know what people are talking about today? Insurance. You know what people are talking about today? Safety, security, dependability. And that's what the insurance industry provides. And so sure, you can swing for the fences with crypto and you swing for the fences with stocks, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're going to do that, make sure it's done smartly with the wise counselors in your ear around you. And it's also money that you're willing to lose and or money that you're willing to ride out for the long term. So if this guy is smart, so if I'm counseling uh, KSI right now, I tell him, if you really believe in crypto, in this Luna thing, um, yeah, short the stock, you put it back into Luna. Uh, yeah, the value of it is down from what you put into it, but you still have the coins, right? You still have the position. Hold on to it for the long term. See what happens. Uh, if, if the five years goes by, 10 years goes by, 15 years goes by, and you recover your losses, and then some, then it was a, ultimate win. But if you ultimately pull out of it 100%, liquidate your, your holdings or liquidate your coins for cash and put it into something else, then that's when you actualize your loss. Because right now it's on paper. Losses are on paper. You know, that's on me. Mm. I, was, I never blame anyone. I always blame myself. Okay. And I think that's what has got Great me attitude. through Taking so many like, tough times. Do you take attitude. failure well? Cause yeah, really yeah. well. There's, yeah, yeah. It seems like a thing with the most successful people I know where failure doesn't really phase them. Yeah. It's just like, okay, I learned like, oh, and I I've failed. Learned. Great. They have laughing. I failed, I learned it. It's Love, like hilarious to them. Yes. And then they just keep moving. Yeah, I think uh, many people that are on that journey for success, you have to desensitize yourself to failure. You have to desensitize yourself that when you do a Facebook live video, IG live video, that three people are watching it, you know, five people are watching it, 10 people are watching it. And even then with Facebook live video or any live video, it's not necessarily the live audience that watches you. 
it's the repeat audience. It's the algorithm audience that watches it an hour later, a, a year later. And so desensitizing yourself to failure, in my opinion, is the way for you to follow that path towards success because success after all is just failure turned inside out. Well, bro, with That's crypto, smart, yeah. yeah. I lost, got it back, lost again. Yeah. And he's gonna find a way to get it back. When I get my money up, I'm back in, bro. I'm back in. I'm back in, bro. You can't bring me down. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not Bitcoin. You can bring me down. Okay, by the way, this is this is the, the benefit of being in the early stages of your financial success journey. So if you're an older person, you know, listen, uh, you're you're maybe in your 40s, 50s, and 60s. I'm not so sure I'd be as aggressive with passive investing as these guys are. I'd be more aggressive with individual hands-on, what can I turn with my own personal efforts and my years of experience into a monetizable uh, cash flowing type of entity, uh, type of opportunity. So uh, they're laughing about it right now. You might be laughing about it right now, but uh, that's again, the benefit of starting young, but the older you get, the less risky, uh, the less time you have to expose yourself to that type of risk. So something to consider. By the way, I enjoyed this conversation. I like where this guy is going. Uh, I definitely love the fact that this innovation of YouTube and online brands and online influencers has created such a new economy for those of you that want to skip the line and get ahead and say, you know, I don't take charge and ownership of my finances, take ownership of my career, my business. And he's doing it. He's killing it. And salute to him and many others that want to do the same. Who, who's going to be the next generation of the Logan Pauls and Jake Pauls and the next generation of the KSIs, the next generation of all these YouTubers? And I'm excited about that. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you're young, you're old, you're experienced, you're inexperienced, you have success, not a lot of success. Question is, are you good in your niche? Are you talking to the audience that follows you? Are you connecting with them? Do you feel genuine authenticity with your counsel and your way of conveying your message? And do they feel that their lives are changing as a result of following you? If that's true, man, continue forward and continue to adapt, grow and change and evolve as a process is a beautiful thing to partake in. So I've enjoyed it. I've been an entrepreneur on 23 years, going on 24 years. We just celebrated my 49th birthday the other day. Uh, but the big birthday, the big 5-0 is coming up. So we're gonna have a special VIP list of people come to my 50th birthday party next year, October. But anyway, I'm planning on these th things right now because I want it to great, be a great memorable experience for not just myself, but for the people that come to my party that connect to the differences that I'm making in people's lives, my family that gets exposed to my business world, my business world that gets exposed to my family and where I come from and how journeys like this is just a part of the great American dream. So that being said, I'd love to know your thoughts, your questions, your comments. Please put it in the comment section below. If you want to check out other reaction videos, I did one here on Logan Paul as well as Mr. Beast. Please check it out too as well. If you haven't done so yet, please purchase Faith Made Millionaire on Amazon. It's number one in multicultural. It's number one also in Christian stewardship and finance and also number five or number six in business growth and professional development. So hope you pick it up and it changes and blesses your life. With that being said, please, if you haven't done so, please consider hitting like if you got value from this video. If you watch a couple of our other videos and you haven't done so yet, please consider hitting subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart and be money smart today.